Yeah, folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's... Oh, I meant to say howdy. Another episode of RimWorld, and I would love to give you guys a tour of uh, what has happened as I let the game sort of run forward, but we do have a siege coming. Luckily, our little kill box here is starting to come together, uh, which is going to be okay. So this is a siege where they spawned outside the wall, no drop pods over here, and they're probably going to walk inside and try to set up, but this is going to give us a little bit of time to hopefully get up to the front ASAP. Uh, Cookie, I think, is having a shower right now, but hopefully you'll be fine. We're going to recruit everyone, and let's get you all up over here. So we they, they still have some trees that they can use from some cover over here, and then they're going to be super mega slowed because they can shortcut a little bit. Ah, that's still going to be pretty slow. They should funnel in one at a time. Let's see how this whole setup goes. Um, everyone's got... We've got a fair amount of heavy SMGs. Smitty is still using this um, compound bow. It turns out, apparently, the DPS is actually pretty good on this thing. Uh, and Doc has equipped the railgun from one of the Imper Imperial? Imperial raids. Okay. I'm just going to go on normal speed here. So... Yeah, they're going to want to try to do mortars. Um, I don't think they get their... I think until they get in position, they don't get their sky drop. So we're unfortunately not going to be able to like get some free reinforced barrels from these guys or anything. But the important thing is to kill them, perhaps, before they set up. What do we got here? Some pistols. Oh, some decent weapons on some of these people. Hunting rifle. Some sniper rifle, effectively. They don't look like they have much in the way of armor, though. So that's nice. Not that we have tremendously good armor. Okay, let's go and increase the speed for a tick here. And then at some point, the combat will start. Should be. There you go. So we get no fast forward. So they're still clumped up in a way that's a little bit surprising to me. I thought that they would be forced a little bit more single file. So this is a bit annoying. We're doing some decent damage. Uh, Chicago. Oh, yeah. See, here's the thing. In my kill box, these things are going to be for mortars, or not mortars, but turrets later. These guys are able to use that for cover right now, which is not ideal. Are you able to shoot? Okay. Sorry, it's very loud here. I hope it's not too loud for you guys. As far as I know, everyone is engaging, and it's going to be okay. We'll keep killing people over here. At some point, they're going to run. There we go. They are on flea mode now. Okay, these guys both went down. Now they're going to try to bash their way through doors. And what I can do um, is actually give them a little search and destroy here, because as these people move around, we can do a little bit of chasing. Emmy, I don't want you to get shot by your friends. In fact, you know what? I'm going to turn off the search and destroy. Everyone just pile up over here. I realize not everyone's going to be able to shoot, but that's okay. Keep knocking them down. Have we... Did we not get anyone survive? I mean, I guess that was a lot of bullets coming their way. I'm a little bit surprised that there are no survivors, though. Huh. Suppose not. Ooh, someone brought some fancy coffee. What is this? Mocha coffee. Ooh, delicious. Maybe that'll be the inspiration we need to start a little cafe. Okay, so that went exceptionally well over here. Despite the fact that this kill zone didn't quite do exactly what I thought it was going to do. Because they didn't really single file. They were still a little bit clumpy. But overall, still okay. The big thing is it still slowed down on people long enough so that we could get to the front. I guess I can go ahead and give you guys a bit of a tour of the base now. That was actually a really successful defense. I'm very pleased about that. So as we pan over here, first of all, we've got more energy being set up because we are drawing more and more power. Set of five batteries just to make sure we're okay. And we've got our hot water happening so that we can get some nice warm baths. Uh, this area over here, we still have our little farmhouse, our little uh, meat packing place with some freezers. Uh, oh, hello. I did set up the butcher's table over here. Apparently, I never set up the butcher creature job again. And I will want to do the kibble and keep some around so that we have a few options we can use it for gaming i'll just set a limit of like 200 or something like that that's going to be okay oh but what i want to do is clear this so hay and i don't want to just use vegetable products i mean you could but it's just hay and meat is what i want to do and i want to save the animal products because um desserts specifically need animal products not that we have any way to produce that we do have a fair amount of ant Oh my god, McGrath is a pacifist, so he won't slaughter. 
that explains. I'm like, well, that's way more animals than we should have. All right, Wild Blood, you're going to be back on animal handling duty. And yeah, if I click over here and check, yeah. McGrath doesn't do violence, so he doesn't butcher. Okay. We don't have enough uh, animal sleep spots right now, but this number is going to be called real soon. Um, well, okay, so this, some of this was hunting, but yeah. First of all, we didn't have the job. Secondly, we haven't actually been culling the animals, but that should hopefully start now. Um, do you not have power over here? Not that this room necessarily needs to be set up right now, but... I'll go ahead and run some power down here so that it's ready for whenever. Okay, let's pan over to our normal base, our prime base, the center of town. Stay was okay. A gift. Sawed off shotgun. All right, it's time to do our winter festival, actually. Maybe, you know what? We're going to go ahead and run that right now. Winter gifting. Let's get it started. So we got a little church over here. I'm building a little cobblestone path around or flagstone path around. I've noticed as people were working over here in the north, rather than walk down the the um, the broken asphalt, which does have 100% move speed, a lot of times they're still moving on the dirt, which is kind of annoying. And then we're cutting through the back of the churchyard. I don't know if it's because I've got a slightly bigger map size and so it's not doing full pathfinding, but like... It was not the fastest route. It was arguably maybe a little short, but it was not the fastest route. Now, I'm a little concerned because in theory, I think I am running a mod that does have the people prefer paths, even if they're slightly longer, but that are clean. Now, this is obviously not a clean route over here, especially back here through trees, over fence, and all over dirt before the flagstone. But I'm wondering if that mod might be actually not working right and just breaking the pathfinding. So I'm thinking about getting rid of it because it doesn't look like people are actually using the fastest possible paths. So I might take that out. Um, but yeah, we got that. There's a little quest thing over here that didn't really work out. I can probably go and trash that at this point. Um, Emily's... Uh, Emma's Grand Hotel, or Emmy's Grand Hotel here, has been fully developed. Uh, I did decide, you know what? The permanent colonists over here are, are going to stay in Emmy's Hotel. Um, we think of hotels these days as something that you go and spend a night or two or maybe a week on vacation or something. But it was actually quite common for uh, people to live in hotels as a sort of a quasi-apartment kind of thing. Fun winter gifting, that's good. Um, oh, and we had Shy just join us, or willing to join us. Let's pause here and we'll evaluate that in a sec. So I decided just before I started recording this that I would move uh, the rest of our people out of here and out of the flop house, um, which we can assign to be just more guest beds, for example. In fact, I, I think I'm going to make it all guest beds. Especially since we are looking at moving and i'll just keep them free that's fine who cares uh moving some people out over here and out by the farm and stuff all right so shy wants to join us because of our festival she's willing to contribute mm -hmm. well of course we'll say yes the colonists will be disturbed sending someone away in need sure shy let's see what your deal is health is good bio creepy breathing and depressive well that's maybe less than ideal on the other hand you do have great animal skill I mean, it's pretty much all you've got going on for yourself. So, Wild Blood does some different things because of planting and stuff like that. Let me turn off the handling for you. And Shy, interestingly enough, despite being called Shy, you do have some sh social skill. Um, I might leave it down for now. Well, we are going to want you to entertain. So, you know what? Never mind. I'm going to keep the wardening on for you because that's you can use that as some practice. You'll also do some entertainment. But animal handling is going to be your primary vibe. Um, and then you can, as a backup, you can help with mining. Oh, yeah. I was The reason that clean got turned off, I don't think it's helping. But with the... Um, I Presumably the, the common sense mod, which causes people to clean the area around them, it seems to be doing weird things. Like... Um, Smitty would be way out here doing construction and then would walk all the way into the base to clean one patch of dirt and then go back off and do something else. So they weren't even like cleaning a work area because like, so I'm, I'm a little confused and that's why I turned down the cleaning, but I'm going to put the default behavior or the, what we, what I consider maybe a bit more default over here. The hall, by the way, is down uh, quite low for everyone because I do have the one dog that helps with hauling. What I really still need is more huskies so that we can breed a few, or even we don't need to breed a few. We just want make like, two or three, even if they're not breeding. That should be plenty of haulers for things. Uh, although I think there are some things that the dogs might not be able to do as a haul job. So we might have to turn these on right now. Actually, I guess we've got some dead bodies. I'm gonna crank hauling up to two for everyone. 
Um, and just temporarily, we can take care of some dead bodies and, and sort that out, and then I'll put it back down to zero. But we'll do that. So, Shy, I'm going to treat... But the thing is, animal handling is not really a full-time job, but... I'm going to treat that as your primary thing, the thing we want you to skill up, and then, yeah, you can just fill some time with, with mining or some other damn thing. The fishing doesn't matter because we don't do fishing. So I think Shy is going to be renamed right away to Cat Lady. Creepy Breathing Depressive. <sighs> um, sorry, I was trying to do Creepy Breathing. Um, not a people person. <laughs> I mean, you're literally called Shy. I was like, oh, do we call you, like, antisocial or this or that? Why don't we just call you Shy? And I just realized, with creepy breathing, maybe we don't put you on social duties. I don't know if the creepy breathing... I don't know how it works, actually. I don't know if it gives you um, worse interactions or if it's some of the random social things. Like, maybe you're just as good as warning and entertainment. You, I guess you are creepy, so I'm actually going to turn that off completely. Animal handling, if there's any that needs to be done, that's you. And then, yeah, you can fill the time with, with whatever else comes up after that. I think that's going to be fine. So for Shy, I'm going to give her an outfit that's just the animal handler outfit. Now, I do have anything set up so it like will still prioritize some of their things. Like, it does look at their assigned skills. But I'll, I'll go ahead and make it explicit with the handler job over here. And Barb the Builder still has the forced hat from their... Schism. All right, well, you have no passion for shooting, which is unfortunate, but go ahead and do that. Oh, I think I'll do the thing where I encourage you to, we'll just lock in the assault loadout over there, which uh, is just highest DPSA again. Uh, it looks like the thing to do is just having to reload from time to time. Um, the game and then the equipment manager works. I'm still considering like, do I get rid of it and start managing their loadouts individually? That is so annoying and I hate it. Grr. So I'm, I'm not sure. Um, anything else changed about our base? Well, we've got um, we've got hygiene going. We've got toilets going. I don't think that was there the last time. A little bathhouse, nice little tubs, and yeah, we're just replacing these latrines with proper toilets. Um. Boot Hill starting to fill up a bunch more. And then, yeah, we still have this area over here for our colonists, but we still haven't had a proper colonist die. But yeah, the wall is all enclosed. I do want to do the second kill box at the bottom because it feels like we should, but for now, we're just going to leave it there. It feels like we should because I don't want to block the road. Farming's in good shape. Way too many animals. Yeah, I think that's about it. I don't remember exactly where we left off. We're still having a little, maybe a little shortage with, uh, with pumping. So, I mean, our ground capacity has gone up a bunch because I built a bunch of these wells, but pumping's a little bit low. Big part of it does depend on how much the wind blows, but I'm going to build a third electric pump over here, and then we'll see. We'll probably just keep tagging it on. The water is working at least at this point. We've got enough that it works, but we could probably use a little bit more. Oh, I think uh, last video or the one before, I think I had set up the deep fryer. I decided I wasn't entirely happy with the deep fried stuff, so I just got rid of it. Um... It maybe was a little anachronistic and it just felt like goofy. And then I started seeing people with some cholesterol things and was like, oh, unacceptable. So I just got rid of it. And me playing pool. I do like the color of outfit. Oh, weird. They're the zoomed out there. The dark, dark. Oh, that's green. I don't like that maybe as much. I thought she was just in like very dark grays, sort of off black. And then the hot pink in there. I do like that combo. I mean, the green's not so bad. And yeah, zoomed out looks okay. And then with the tool belt on the side. And the glasses and the hat and the backpack. Yeah, she looks like she's ready for anything. All right. Uh, people coming by. I have done a little bit of trading, but there wasn't anything traumatic that happened. I think I might have got picked up a tech print or two, um, but nothing that I'm planning on using. Oh, that's not true. There was something. I thought... With the tech prints. There it is. That's what it was. Now I remember. Um, it's does it not? I guess it shows up as a historical. Okay, I canceled a bunch of things. Bright and shiny construction. Wanted dinner of live. No. It's not. Okay, it's not this. I just cancel that. That's fine. It's not that. Oh, odd. Okay. Um, there is an event that popped up that made it so that 
Um, I had the option, it would spawn a raid source. So over here, they've got like eight settler enemies. Settler is the cowboy tier, so they shouldn't have any god tier equipment. They set up over here, and apparently like every 25 days, they're going to send me a raid. Uh, Green Plateau ban Bandits, I suppose, are the ones I just fought. So that was probably the first one in there. Um, and it did give me three tech prints as a reward for accepting it. So I said yes, and I eat the tech prints, and that, that seemed cool. But mostly it means we have to go out and we have to shoot that side up, which will make Barb happy because she wants to leave town. She's got the wanderlust kind of thing. So I think that might be what I have to prep. I do certainly want to bring a good number of people there. We just got raided. Now, I think, again, that might have been an event raid, or it might have been, like, it could have been just a random raid, in which case we might have a little bit of a of a buffer before the next one, or it might have been the raid from this camp, in which case I don't know if that reset the timer for the raids, although um, I don't know how the storyteller works. For all I know, we could get raids back to back. So I do want to go out there and and boop that. So maybe we'll do that now. I'm going to turn the entire base here. Um, that's not where I want to go. I'm going to tell everyone to go onto their combat wear. McGrath, you are a... You can keep your normal outfit. What are your... You said cook. Okay. So you can stay on cook. Everyone else go to soldier. We'll just give him a chance to swap some things. Shy's got some tattered apparel. That's... Okay, that's... I don't think she... Shy's had a chance to change yet. Unless the handler policy... Hang on. Oh, yeah. It doesn't have a hit point limit for things. Actually, did the soldier one not have it either? No, it doesn't. So let's go ahead and do that as well. Oops, come on. There we go. In any case, so I'm not, I mean, I'm not doing a gear up and go, so people will just sort of change at their own pace here. But we'll try to get a bunch of armor, kind of on anyone. And since a bunch of our people are going to be away, it actually does seem like a good idea to keep everyone in their soldier gear in case there is a raid. Oh, I made a slight little thing over here in the tailoring bench because we do, did get our first Devil Strand Harvest. So what I did at the top of the queue here is I made a new little job, which is another Make Duster. But this one requires at least 10 skill, which Needle has. Needle is actually a 14, nearly a 15, actually. Um, and this is to make dusters with Devil Strand or Hyperweave or Synth Thread, which right now is just going to be Devil Strand. But if we happen to get some Hyperweave, uh, we'll do that. Synth Thread is, I think, about as good as Devil Strand. Maybe a little lighter, but maybe a little less temperature control. Like, it, it's pretty good. Or, I don't know. There's, there's something like that. Um, I suppose, actually, if we get um, Thrumbo Fur, which is interestingly enough under leather and not wool for some reason, I think Thrumbo Fur is also about as good as Devil Strand. Anyway, so the idea is um, if we've got this material, make some dusters, because I think the dusters being on the outer layer is the most critical for actually decreasing the amount of damage we take in. Oh yeah, the freaking muscle parasites. God, that's annoying. Uh, so we've got that and it's set to only count dusters with the allowed ingredients. So we have two dusters made out of presumably Devil's Rand uh, currently sitting around. Now, no one's got them equipped. And that's the thing, the pawns, and this is just the case in RimWorld, will not auto upgrade to a better item. I believe they will try to equip the best version of an item they can when they're looking for something new, but they won't strip off something just to upgrade. Um, unless, you know, the thing they're wearing gets below, say, the, the hit point threshold, for example, um, that we set, then they'll take that off and then they'll try to equip something better. So yeah, they're excellent thrum or Devil Strand dusters, which would be so much better for armoring up I suppose I can just manually get people to wear some of this kit. Who do we want to put on here? Oh, loving. Never mind. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt you. Um, I was going to say, Emmys or Mare. Also, Doc. It's very important that Doc, being our doctor, doesn't go down too quickly. Um, no pun intended. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It just, I really didn't mean that. And as I said it, my mind went to bad places. Oh, masterwork button down shirt. So what I'm thinking, okay, you're now asleep. I, Doc, I'm going to get you to come over here and force you to wear that. And you know what? Yeah, Emmy's the mayor, and then they can do the whole couple and matching clothing kind of thing. I'm going to get them to both wear the these dusters. There we go. And okay, good. Excellent. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear their forced. They're not going to take that duster off because dusters is something they want to wear. Um, 
and there we go. So now they're all set up. They've got some pretty good stuff here. That's really good. Nudist is too clothes. Yeah, Cookie does not want to wear clothes. Uh, no, it's wrong job. Doesn't want to wear clothes. But when I've got the soldier outfit on, they go ahead and I'm, I'm forcing them to wear armor because I don't want them to die. We've got some fur going on over here. Let's go and put out that fur, please. There we are. Now, the dry thunderstorm will probably change to a rainy storm of some kind at some point, but that's okay. All right, we're going to finish catching up on the hauling jobs over here, make, mostly making sure everyone is buried. Also, there's a bunch of weapons to be put away. There's the rain. Thank you. So I will clear the home zone over here. And then I think we're going to go and try to hit that other site. What are you, what are you doing outside the base? Is there stuff to loot out here? I'm building log wall. What were you guys doing here? Feeling depressed. We do need more, um, extreme break risk. For shy? Well, you are depressive. We do need some more, um, entertainment sources. Oh, what I can do, first of all, is let's get, uh, Smitty. I hope you're not too far away. We're gonna finally set up a shooting target here. A group of bisons wandered in. Wait, they belong to a caravan? You can collect these items if you tame them or kill them. Otherwise, they'll leave the area in a couple of days. I don't think I'm going to be taming them. So I'm just going to set them up to hunt. And I'm going to grab a few people here who aren't in a terrible mood. Come over here. So I actually didn't even need to flag those hunt, but I'm going to do some drafted hunting. I know that a couple of people were close by. But... I was going to say, I want Smithy to finish that. And actually, even Barb, I want her to finish doing some building over here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. And... Never find Drafted Hunt, but there we go. Oh, Doc's got this long-range weapon. Which is actually good for the stealthy, but... Did we... Did you just... Immediately leave the map? Seriously? Maybe without the walls, it would have watered in deeper, and it wouldn't have been as an issue. Damn. Oh, there's some stuff. Hold on. Did the, did the siege get a drop of equipment? Do we have mortar barrels? I mean, I don't have mortar tech. Because of course not, because it's me. Oh, yeah, we do have the Gatling gun. They have to be manned, which does seem really cool. Although, apparently, they still have a chance of exploding, so it was feeling a bit unsafe there. We will have to get... I think I will be putting, like regular uh, mini turrets in these areas here. And apparently, since people can use it for cover, we might want to get that sooner rather than later. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, did that get set up? Perfect. Okay. So I think they will play with the shooting target for fun, but the other thing I can do is turn on training. Which doesn't seem like a terrible idea. Only one person at a time can train. Now, I think this will train, yeah, both shooting and martial arts. I don't really want them to practice the martial arts, although we do do some melee stuff from time to time. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is, for the people who have passion, I will get the training option turned on. See, Doc was coming here on their own. I think they're just doing this for recreation. Um, I will get the training option turned on. Only one at a time can do it. And because they're passionate about it, they should get some extra fun, which is going to be handy. And yeah, I want to build this just to reduce the chance that someone gets hit by a stray bullet uh, from someone practicing at the shooting range. I don't I don't know how likely that is going to be. I don't know how this is coded. If it's regular gunfire, maybe it's not actually possible for something like that to happen. Um, what I should do... Hold on. Do I have granite? I have limestone, which is tough. Oh, granite's this one, isn't it? Yeah, I have a lot of it. I'll keep the wooden walls here. But I will granite wall on the back here. Actually, maybe the full back line. There we go. Because that's tougher. So it'll it'll handle the damage a bit more. Although I suspect we're still going to do a lot of wall repair. I mean, I guess I could have put the shooting range just a little further out somewhere. In an area where people aren't likely to walk through. Hey, this can be deconstructed. Barb is in a daze. I haven't noticed that spot. Final straw, use drug. Well, then... Don't use drugs! Alright. I'm guessing... Yeah, these guys don't want that. So I'm going to say no. No. And no. I mean, they're probably fine with alcohol, but you know what? 
failed to calm her down. I uh, thought it said she was down. I was like, what the hell happened? But yeah, fine. No drugs at all for you. Deal with it. Is the schism thing a good idea? Well, it certainly makes the game harder, but at the same time, it's quite entertaining. You bought uranium. Hmm. I don't remember if I ever did decide on whether I was doing uranium maces or not. Okay, pause a sec. Some shit's going down. And I think the answer is no, I did not. They're using some of their tools for this. I guess I had talked about doing the longsword thing. So, again, the longsword is less good against armored foes than a nice uranium club. On the other hand, I suppose it's possible to consider that a lot of times the things we're going to end up mailing with might be like big herds of animals or something like that that are swarming in, in which case the longsword is going to be by far the superior weapon. And again, we're just going to pretend that it's just a big bowie knife or something so that it's period appropriate. Sure. Let's do that. Um, I'm going to keep two long swords around all the time. We're going to want to make sure... Well, I guess the hit points for the weapons don't matter. The quality does. Let's make sure they're at least good. I suspect plasteel is the best, but... Um, the material is a little hard to come by, so we'll just do steel. Okay. And yeah, we'll start a slow trickle in. We have picked up a few weapons. One of our characters has a plasma sword. Right, right over here. Wildblood has a plasma sword. That's pretty cool. Alright, Gub's many enemies. Amidst the profaned peace ritual. Okay, now they're both chasing him. Begs for safety. If you accept, both of them will raid us in six hours. I do feel like we're the sort of people who say yes to these sorts of things and help people out. So I think we are going to say yes. <clears throat> but we're going to have to find out what that means next time. Where's Grub? Oh, I guess you haven't actually appeared yet. You will appear soon. Okay, that's fine. Um, Shy going to... Bin so we do have two people who are currently broken. That's not entirely desirable um, while all this is going on. But we'll see what we can. The walls of the kill zone are at least done. Not everything is done in here, but that's okay. I'd rather not give them fast dirt to move on. Like, it's not super speedy. It's 93. It's not 100%. Um, but I really want to make sure trees don't regrow over here so that they can use for cover and whatnot. I wonder, is there another... Is there a flooring that's just really slow and shitty that I could have used? I don't know. Maybe. How's the lawn? I assume the lawn's 100 Walk speed's 87. Hold on. What about grass? Because I don't think it tells you this here, which is annoying. Um, here, let me just put a, a little patch. Oh, I think. Okay, I think if I tear this off, we might be able to. But there's still some places where we can't build grass. All right, just to not be annoyed by this entire thing, um, I'm going to go ahead and go back and dirt this. I think I built asphalt over here because it's got 100% move speed, and that seemed good, and we might use some of that for the road here. Uh, I'm, I'm still, we still have to work out the road texture. What I was thinking, and I should do a little experimental patch somewhere. What I was wondering about is, because I don't want solid asphalt, but I'm wondering... I do that with like a packed dirt layer in the middle. Would that look good? Would that look like sort of ruts and treads? I'm just wondering how that's going to blend these textures. So I'm going to put a little experimental patch over there. I'm going to do another one that's the opposite. I'm going to put asphalt in the middle and then some packed dirt on the side. And we're going to compare to see what this looks like. I mean, I could do flagstone or cobblestone because cobblestone roads are definitely a thing. Well, we can, we can take a look at a few different possibilities, but I'm going to start. I'm going to make these two little test patches. And we're going to see what that looks like. Anyway, I'm going to put a cut in here. So next episode, Grub's going to join us. And we're going to get raided by two factions simultaneously. Um, luckily, everyone's already in their battle gear. And everyone's got... Shy is not actually equipped with a range weapon for some reason. What? what? Oh, you're broken. I can't actually give you any commands. Oh, that's why both of these look funny. Yeah, so actually Shy might have more than just this. Um, but the youth are in face. She's got a sawed-off shotgun. Not really what I'm looking for here, Shy. Um, that's not really the ideal weapon, but... All right, we'll leave you be anyway. All right, we're going to put a cut in here. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.